Hi, my name is Chris Keyes, and I play John Potter in Steel Town. Um, what can I say? He seems to be an every man who is probably locked in a very, very bad situation. Uh, he is a guy who probably was a worker, a blue collar guy, and was given a little carrot to manage the workers, which means he probably got along with the upper management and certainly the owners. Um, so it's kind of fascinating because, you know, they're living in a small uh, uh, factory town. So his family probably associates with the, the workers and yet at the same time, probably with the upper echelon as well. And yet he belongs to neither. So I think this tear uh, is there constantly emotionally for him uh, throughout this whole trial. The Homestead Steel Strike in particular, I think, was really a turning point for labor in, in, a, in, in ways you wouldn't have thought. Uh, people associate strikes with really uplifting and, and victorious uh, movements. And what's interesting about Homestead was it was actually that the union existed and they had some pretty good things going. And yet they wanted a little bit more. And it, it wasn't a bad a little bit more. It's just they wanted a little bit more because they needed it. It was better safety conditions and, and certainly uh, less of a working day. They didn't want to work 12 hours a day. Uh, sometimes seven days a week. So the strike came and it really, uh, it really changed things for the labor movement in this country because they lost. And when they lost, they lost everything. They lost all of their uh, gains that they had made uh, regarding labor. And it took a good 30 years for that to come back in this country. So I feel what's really great about this story uh, is that it's so timely to what's going on right now. Our labor world has been gutted. Uh, there were some really great things that labor had accomplished over time, and yet it has been gutted. Uh, people have lost health insurance, they've lost pensions, they've lost uh, all kinds of things that really we're realizing now that they needed. So I think labor is probably gonna have some kind of resurgence, and I think this is one of the indications to me that that's on the horizon. Uh, hey, listen, if you gave to this project, feel really good about yourself because frankly, to tell a story like this, you need money. <laughs> it's not money for the explosions. It's money because it's, it's a subject that I think a lot of people don't necessarily identify with when they hear it, but when they see it, they might be able to tap into what's how it's relating to themselves. Uh, and their own situation. You know, some people, they work behind a computer and, uh, and they send emails in and, and they, they just don't connect to a person like this. But yet when you see what they were fighting for, uh, health insurance, better working conditions, uh, less uh, working days, um, I think people see that that might be something that they're interested in having for themselves. You know, people bring their iPhones home with them and work emails constantly during the day, during the weekend. In some senses, that's what's going on here as well. I mean, they're working seven days a week, 12 hours a day. So anyway, I'm so thankful to be working on this. I think it's a really cool concept. Uh, and kudos to Nick and the gang for writing such a great story.